hot start here in this Ultimate League. As Spot Me Please looks to get things going and get that balanced attack coming in, Rico. He's known for passing the ball, but we're also going to look to see some run game from here. And he will also be receiving the ball first in those Titans uniforms. He is a huge Titans fan, after all. Yeah, with the pass rush that Blocky's going to bring, Spot Me's going to have to run the ball to keep him honest to try to at least buy some time for the quarterback to get off his feet. Who needs to buy time when you can just go ahead and take the opening kickoff all the way back to the house? Warfield is loose for the touchdown. <laughs> what, a bet, what a better way to keep his defense on his heels than by not allowing him to get on the field. We need to cast all of Spot in these games, I think. We show up, first play of us casting the game, he takes it back to the crib. We're, we're definitely good luck for everybody. That's right, good luck for everybody here. Extra point is going to make it 7 nothing for Spot Me early. Now, Rico, if you're blocky, you have not faced a ton of adversity yet in this Madden Ultimate League season. You can't get much more in a <laughs> hole than this right here after the first play. You, you try to just forget it. You try to just act like, you know what, there's only 10 seconds of the game, even though I'm down 7 nothing. Let's just act like this is the opening kickoff. I'm going to come down, score. It'll be 0-0. Zero, zero. And then you have it. A look at it again. Nothing fancy. No juke moves. No spin moves. That's just old school stick work. Weaving your way through all the way for a touchdown. Now, this is going to allow Spot Me to relax a little bit on defense. He knows he has a little bit of a cushion. He knows he can play a little freer here. Spot Me going to be in the multiple defense as he lines up here against Blocky, who comes out in the shock. First and 10 from the 27. Drops back, looks into the flat to Derrick Henry. Excuse me on the truck, but he's got some help. This might be the first time that Derrick Henry didn't break the first tackle right. that he's uh, approached. I didn't think that DB was going to be able to bring him down, but he was able to get it. Been a force all season long for multiple guys. As Mariota hangs out in the pocket, gets it off to Cooks, but it's dropped. Incomplete right there, setting up a third and two here for Blocky. That was some good pocket presence for Blocky right there. He was able to, even though the pocket was collapsing around him, he stood it, found the guy, just couldn't hang on to it. Third down, goes to the run, and there is Derrick Henry Rico doing exactly what you just said, dipping on Jabril Peppers, getting himself across that line for a first and 10. That might have been the easiest two yards I've seen in a long time. That's the Derrick Henry we're accustomed to seeing. Now first down again, just shy of his own 40-yard line. Blocky drops back to pass. Good pocket presence again. Forces the ball upfield to Cooks. That is held onto this time. A big pass play for a first down. We've seen Blocky be aggressive on both sides of the ball this season. He's going to start needing to keep doing that here on first down, pushing the ball downfield a little bit. Yeah, he threw in the coverage. He didn't believe this spot. He was going to click on and try to make that play. He liked himself over the computer. He got his first down. Most of these competitive guys are going to like themselves over the computer. If they see a matchup they can exploit, they're going to go for it. As he does again up the seam there for another first down for Blocky. Responding pretty well to that opening kickoff return touchdown. He seems to have no problem throwing at Spot Me. I don't know if Spot Me's trying to bait him. He's going to click on and try to take it away sooner or later. Or if he's just nervous to not give up that touchdown in case he misses it going for it. That's right. Well, Blocky from the 20 hits to the flat. That's not a great read right there but he gets away with it, even though he will lose a yard, making it second and 11. I don't think Blocky saw that defender there at all. The way no, he yeah, he, that, he, he like just kind of he just kind of chucked that one. Flat. Yeah, second and 11. The 22 here, Blocky in the gun bunch. Pressure off the edge. Big defensive play from Spot Me, forcing a third and long. That was a great coverage sack right there. All of his reads were covered. Couldn't find what he was looking for. Held on to the ball too long. Spot was able to bring him down for that loss of nine. Third and nine. Blocky looking downfield. Hits it to the flat again. Big hit is going to jar the ball loose. Now, I know Madden, fourth and 19. We'll see guys go for this. But when you're at the 30, it's probably best to just take your three and move on, right? Yeah. He's going to go ahead and kick this and love it. You don't want to walk away here with no points, especially after you gave him that quick kick return. You haven't even let your defense go on the field yet. You know how well you play defense. Go ahead, take your points, and now buckle down. Blocky is going to go ahead and trust his defense, taking his three, making it a 7-3 ball game as he kicks this thing deep. Not another. Oh, he might have another one here. Oh, <laughs> I thought the same thing. I saw a lot of green out in front of Warfield uh, right we there. Get another college song. <laughs> another one. Another one. 
And Spot Me finally will have a chance to get his offense on the field after returning that kick for a touchdown to open the game. Well, Spot Me's going <laughs> to shouldn't press his luck. Hopefully he's read some of the press that block he's got so far this season and knows that his defense is coming from every angle with coverage behind him. Blocky running that KC defense. We're going to go double box here as we see Spot Me hand it off and almost break a run free. Looks like we got Prodigy who's almost, yeah, just down into the red zone over there against Stevie. Two teammates, Rico, going at it here on your left box. Yeah, and these guys are very familiar with each other. They've laughed against each other and played. It's going to come down to execution and who's able to win the battle of turnovers. That's right. Spot Me with a lot of room as he hands off on that inside zone play from the gun. Jarek McKinnon for a first down, moving him up to the 40. In your left box here, Prodigy has actually done a good job of capitalizing when he gets into the red zone, Rico. Passing the ball to get downfield, running it once you're in the red zone, a pretty good plan, right? Yeah, as you know, Cole likes to refer to it as the dead zone, but he's found a way to get sevens as opposed to threes, and that's what's helped him start to get on that uh, victory bandwagon. That's right. Prodigy hands it off. Derrick Henry absolutely nowhere to go. They always say the first rule of Madden is don't run anything you can't stop yourself. We know Stevie J loves to run the ball. Mm -hmm. So you expect him to have some stout run defense here. He needs the ball. Bat down. Get off the field right here on third and six, holding the three. You got a second and ten on your right as Spot Me takes off with Mariota. Ooh, ends up doing a Superman dive. You think he was trying to slide right there. My heart always skips a beat when guys do that. Yeah, he definitely got lucky. I think the fact that he's a Tennessee fan saved him there. And Mariota <laughs> gave his best effort. Because he wanted to make sure he held on to that ball. Mariota feeling Spot Me's energy through the controller here as he hands off on third and short. He's got a sliver of room right there. Couldn't quite get past the next level, but that's going to be a first down. Yeah, he oh, he had a lot of daylight behind him. He probably going to regret the fact that he wasn't able to get seven there. And he allowed himself to be brought down there if he's forced to take three. 92 acceleration on that McKinnon card right there. Maybe one or two more, and he's going to the crib on that one? Yeah, or just a little bit more stick work from Spotty's point. But he ran right into the defender. Stretches it out to the right. McKinnon knocked out at the nine-yard line. Four rushes for 52 yards. Earlier in the season, Spotty really struggled to establish that run game. Looking pretty good so far. As he yeah. moves down the field. The time he spent in the lab has really, really paid off. He's been able to keep everybody off balance, and as you guys can see here, this is the first time I've seen Blocky look like he's not quite sure what he's to mortal. do. He's yeah. mortal. He's mortal. His defense can actually get moved on a little bit. Second and one, the pride of Ballard, West Virginia, driving his Titans all the way down on a fullback dive to Ingram. That's going to be enough to get him a first and goal. I am a huge fan of the fullback dive. I don't. Th I think it's a lost art, man. With the, the lack of success of the QB sneak, I think more people need to bring back the fullback. That's a nice little throwback to your era of competitive Madden right there. We saw a lot more fullback dive. I like it as well. It's a nice little, you know, that QB sneak is so inconsistent, especially down in the red zone. That's true. That's true. Exactly right. 7-3. Pitches left. Nothing there for McKinnon. It's going to bring him a second and goal. Yeah, McKinnon needs to get to the outside there. Spot me cut that one up a little too soon and wasn't able to find Peter. We mentioned McKinnon has that 92 acceleration, good outside the tackles, 55 truck rating. We don't really want to be sending him on too many dives, especially down here in the goal line. Second and goal from the seven, hands off again to McKinnon. Not able to shed the tackler, but does push forward up to the four, gain of three. Setting up a third and goal, but that's probably going to take us to the end of the first here. Yeah, I, I can't see him picking a play right here. If you're blocky, you got to feel happy. If you can hold him to three right here, you're still at a one-score game, and you're in a good position. Got some back-and-forth battles here. Spot me up 7-3 on Blocky, and a 0-0 tie between the Noble players. Start of the second quarter here. We've got Blocky taking on Spot Me, please. Down in the red zone for here in this game, it's interdivisional. Division A taking on Division B here in the Elite Conference. Week 8 Madden Ultimate League action. This has been a good one so far, Rico. We've seen some serious special teams from the, from the jump and then some good defense as well from both of these guys. Yeah, Although, these, right? these Sorry, guys are definitely evenly matched. And uh, they're bringing it all out here. 
So Bobby's going to have to think a little bit outside the box if he's trying to punch this one in. And when I say outside the box, I mean he might not want to try that dive. Again. Yeah, as we go double box here, keep an eye on our Prodigy Stevie game. So Bobby is going to hand off, goes up the middle again with McKinnon. He is stuffed, forcing a tough decision here, Rico. There's no decision here. He's going to take his three. Everything he's tried there hasn't worked so far. If, if he goes for this, I'll be shocked. Well, it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Wow. Refusing Rico's advice here. He is going to go for it. Fourth and goal from the two-yard line here for Spot Me Please. Hopefully he has a rock-solid play. <laughs> or he might be trying to draw them offside. Could be as that play clock winds down. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. Letting that play clock go all the way down. Some nice high-level Madden from the former Madden Classic champion. Good stuff. And... He will, in fact, listen to Rico Williams take his three. And that is his rock solid call. I, I would really shock this Bobby. He's too cerebral of a player. He knows how good Blocky's defense is. He knows right now he's up a whole score. You don't want to leave any points on the board. He was able to play good D against Blocky. So you give yourself a chance to stay in the game. That's exactly what he did. He is now up 10-3. Let's jump over to Prodigy and Stevie J as Prodigy has found himself inside the 10-yard line, approaching four minutes left in the second quarter. Hand off Derrick Henry. Man, those inside sheds are looking pretty good, Rico. Yeah, they're going to have to try to get outside or maybe even take it to the air if he's looking to get in here. Stevie J it has his run defense ready. He has that wall. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. If you're going to be one of the best running attacks in Madden, you might as well be able to stop it when you're on defense. It's third and goal. He's going to motion left with Julio Jones out of the eye. Hands it off to Henry. Fourth down. Another, another tough decision here inside the five. First half. Tie ball game. No tough decision. Did you see how quickly he picked that field goal? He didn't have to ask Madden. <laughs> he didn't have to ask you, me, RJ, Chow, Cole. He knew exactly what was going on as soon as he didn't get that touchdown. Well, he does, in fact, convert. A 19-year-old from Fontana, California, made a really deep run here at the Madden Challenge a little while back, and now he's doing work at the Ultimate League, up 3-0 on his teammate, Stevie J. Stevie not even trying to take that hit. He wants to get his running back out there to <laughs> carry the ball. He's not giving up anything easy. No, he is not. We're going to double box it again. And actually, you know what? Let's just jump on over to this game as Blocky looks to move the ball back on Spot Me. Nice little out route there. Gets to the sticks, picks up the first down. You know, all season long, Rico, Blocky has just been so efficient through the air. He does not waste any pass attempts. Yeah. He really has streamlined his game. He makes sure that he doesn't try to do too much, but everything that he can do, he does well. First and 10 from the 38. Mariota flushes out, takes a hit, gain of four on the scramble there. Bringing up a second and six. I know he was hoping that receiver picked up that block and was going to be able to get a couple more yards. He was able to come off that and make the tackle. I know Blocky really disappointed there. Blocky on second and six, going to the air. Ooh, looks like that ball. Some good defense played on there, but it's actually going to be hauled in right there. A big first down catch for Blocky. At some point, Spotman is going to have to stick up for himself. You cannot keep letting people throw at you like that with no regard. He just keeps trying them. One of these times he's going to have to pick that. Yeah, time to make an adjustment if you're spot me, please. Blocky is inside the red zone. Down 10-3, first and 10. He's passing again. Here comes the pressure. Almost picked off right there, but squeezed it in again to D.D. Westbrook. I almost pulled the full Ridley. I thought that was going the other <laughs> way. I was about to be like, finally, he gets his pick. But no. No, Not so much. Just going to have to settle for, for a tackle and, and hold it into a gain of five. Second and five now for Block. He's out of the bunch. He's going to hand it off. Derrick Henry going for the truck a little bit early right there. It's bringing up a sh third and short. Sometimes we see, you know, you can get that truck animation not exactly right onto a player and still generate some space. But sometimes you're leaning too hard on that and you're uh, foregoing some running lanes that you would have otherwise. Yeah, he definitely cost himself a couple yards there by uh, preemptively hitting that. But the question is, he needs three yards here. Because mm. <laughs> it's third and two. He needs that first down. You don't want to wind up taking three here again. Yeah, seven would be huge here for Blocky. I was lucky enough, Rico, to be in Miami calling the games when he won that Dolphins Club Championship. He put on a show 
down in Miami, and so far in this Ultimate League season, he's been nothing short of impressive. Yeah, yeah. I, he first caught my eye at the Midwest Campus class last year, where uh, he was one of the finalists, had a great run, and him and T. Davis got, got into the final. Blocky has been getting better every single year, yeah. every single game, and it's all culminating here in the Ultimate League. They're culminating right now on a third and two. He stretches it out to the right, runs into his own blocker, missed the lane there a little bit, and spot me with a quick timeout on fourth and four. Yeah, spot me wants to make sure he has as much time as he can to run his two-minute offense, but there you, you gotta you gotta make more of that play if you're blocking there. While he's a great play caller, he's an incredible defensive mind. You gotta have the stick to get outside that one because he had a lot of daylight, just wasn't able to capitalize. Comes up a little short, but does get points on the board here, making it a 10-6 ball game. Just under two minutes left here in the first half. Let's see if Spotme can get an offensive touchdown of his own, or if Paul Warfield wants to just go ahead and be the MVP of this game in the first half. Let's go quickly for a game break. After a solid run by Mariota, he hands it off to Herschel Walker, who takes it all the way into the house from the 39-yard line, putting Stevie J up 7-3. Thank you, Adrian. Nicely done. He drop right back in as Spot. He's going to go play action. He's going up top. Nice click on user SWAT, and he tips it up in the air, and it's picked off. Going the other way, Paul Krause, waiting for blockers to develop. Mariota, eventually the man to bring him down. That is the kind of defensive play we've seen from Blocky all season, Rico. Yes, and that's what he was look I was looking for from spot me when Blocky was over. He clicked on, made a play for himself, got the tip drill, and then started to bring it back. Now, here's where taking that three makes all the sense in the world. He needs to capitalize here, and he's going to get the ball back. Field goal always looks smart when you get a big interception right after. And then there you go, capitalizing on the turnover. Touchdown, Blocky. Wow. It's just like that. You want to talk about a momentum swing. Extra point is going to make it a 13-10 game. Yeah, Rico, you just mentioned that. I mean, you can feel the momentum shifting in this room. Blocky looking locked in. Spot me, belt holder, everybody here. Household names, they have coaches on the game. Well, there's a new kid on the blocky, and he's looking to make sure that everybody knows who he is. I was wondering when you were going to work in a new kid on the blocky. I'm glad first half we got that in. <laughs> Minute 24 left. Spot me after a quick turnover and score. Gets to try it all over again here. Now, again, you, you cannot be too aggressive here. Take what the defense gives you because. Right now, you're losing all the momentum. You don't want to lose any more points. <laughs> there you go, right on cue. He runs out of the gun bunch. Take another look at this touchdown pass. I mean, Westbrook's just wide open. Wide open. That was too easy. That 93 speed that Westbrook's got causing some separation on the outside there. Spotme comes over the middle to Warfield, gets right towards that first down marker. About a minute left here. Two timeouts left for Spotme. Although Rico, in Madden, he's still not in a rush, right? He can still take his time to run his offense. Yeah, he's, he's already crossed the 50. Well, he's right at the 50. Well, he's right in front of the 50. <laughs> <laughs> just about at the 50. He's just about at the 50. So he's in good position, but he has to do. He has to stay and be mindful of the clock just because you don't want to blink and there's two seconds left. Let's go for a quick game break. Ah, after being nodded at nil in the first, the boys have broken open, and Prodigy's taking it in. Now leads 10 to 7 with 50 seconds left in the second. All right, Blocky screaming in, dragging Mariota down, causing a third and 16 here. That's the one thing you really couldn't do if you're spotting me, right? You didn't want to take the sack, so now you had to use the timeout and you lost yards. So now you have to make a decision here because there's 22 seconds left. If you don't get this first down. Punning. Right, if he stays in bounds, I wouldn't be surprised to see Blocky use one of his timeouts. Try and get that ball back, get some more points on the board here. Well, hey, at least now, third and 16 is only third and 11. Yeah. It's a little bit more manageable. He, he went to the Skimbo School of Offense, and he said, hey, Blocky, you're going to be on aggressive. I'm going to make you pay for that. That's right. We're going to double box it here. We count down to 30 seconds left in the game on the left. In the first half, Stevie J is driving, got himself in the red zone against Prodigy and the Eagles. Stevie J 
Dropping back, keeping that pocket presence. High ball pass, going to get it for a first down. He's got no timeouts, though. He needs to go see if he's going to go straight to field goal, or no, he's going to try and run another play here. Wow, he's going to run another play. Swap was able to pick up that first as well. Fumble on the left side of your screen. Stevie loses the ball inside the 10-yard line as the first half is coming to an end. Oh, that is brutal, Rico. Yeah, he got too greedy. Trying to do a little bit too much. That run game let him down. He needed those points. Yeah, he did need those points. Down three. As we look on the right, spot me is going downfield. Possession catch. Hauls it in on the 13-yard line. He has no timeouts either. Able to get out of bounds there and stop the clock. Looks like that other game, Prodigy and Stevie going to halftime. So we'll stick with Blocky and Spot Me here for the last seven seconds. Now that was an incredibly veteran play by Spot Me. He was able to have to roll out. If anybody was coming near him, he was throwing that away to stop the clock. He went through a route that only his receiver could get to. He knew he was going to be able to get out of bounds afterwards. Very well played. Textbook drive right there. Good stuff. We know how important that clock management and ball control can be and not turning the ball over. Spot Me, nice job there tying things up at 13. Little pooch kick to the right. As RG would say, some scum tactics right there. The ball bounce. No return possible on that. Now, three seconds left. Do you kneel it? <laughs> do, you, do you try one shot at it? We just saw Stevie fumble in his last drive. That's right. You don't want to do too much. I think you got to run one. You got to pitch it or, or stretch it out. It looks like that's what he's going to do. Just, you never know. In Madden 18, a little run play to the outside as he's going to pitch it out right, see what can happen. Looks like not a whole lot against Spot Me in this defense of his. It's going to be 13 all. Solid first half between these two guys. 10 7 over in the Noble game. Prodigy over Stevie J. Blocky and Spot Me all tied up at 13 at the half. Starting up the third quarter here between Blocky and Spot Me, please. We got ourselves a tie ball game, 13 apiece. Spot Me, please, with a little special teams touchdown. Blocky playing some solid, aggressive defense, turning turnovers into points. Rico, it's been a battle. Yeah, when they said this Blocky and Spot Me was going to be an instant classic, I thought it was because you and I were casting. <laughs> Not because the game was going to be such a barn burner. Well, we're, we're, we're lucky guys, that's for sure. We get to get to call games like this one. This is going to be a, a pretty epic sec second half here. I feel it shaping up. Blocky lined up in the onside kick return, never audibled out of it, kept himself in that onside kick return. Yeah, which also allowed him to have his kick returner feel that and could have given him some room to make a play, but the way everybody came in, he was smart. Went ahead, called that fair catch. That's right, play it Literally safe. Play that's right. Well, Blocky's starting from his own 22. He's going to hand it off to Derrick Henry. Again, like you said earlier, a little reliant on that truck stick. He was a little early with it again, slowed him down, and it didn't allow him to gain the yardage that he could have on that play. And that's something that Problem does. I think that is super underrated. We saw him do it in the Legend Conference as Blocky passes again to the right sideline for a first down. Problem has mastered the ability of using that trucking animation. Even if it's not a direct truck onto a player, he generates space for himself even when there's none there. Blocky, a top Madden guy himself. Maybe you can learn, learn a little something from, from the GOAT. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that information flows freely in that. <laughs> First and 10 from the 34. Pressure off the right side. Mariota's going to shrug that off like it's nothing. Throw the ball out of bounds as he tried to force it downfield. 10 of 14 for Blocky. A touchdown. The efficiency, the lack of turnovers. It's impressive. It is, especially to go along with the defense he's playing. He needs to find a way to get some points here and keep that momentum going in his favor. Second and 10. He's going right with Mariota. Gets it off to Cooks. Nice pass right there for a first down. It's interesting. With an offense as exotic as spot means with the reads he goes through, I would think he would be a little bit more user-aggressive on defense and taking away some of the things. Just, that's a sack lunch right there. Spot me talking. He, he, he hears your advice. He's going to get aggressive on that D line right there, get a little pressure on him. So, Blocky, he's got a second and 13. Man is a student. Miami Dade College down in Florida. He's going to dump it off to the flats here, Derrick Henry. 
And when you do that truck early and you get hit like that, that's a fumble waiting to happen. That's a recipe from Malaya. From <laughs> that's right. Now a big third and nine here. Blocky in the gun. Dropping back again. Just going to hit that flat. Delaney Walker shoved out of bounds at the 32. 49-yard field goal. Looks like Blocky's going to go ahead and kick this thing. You never know what the block kicks these, this year, but he is going to get it off with no pressure on his kicker. Knock it through, although a late flag comes in. Might have some roughing here. Oh my goodness. Roughing the kicker is going to extend Blocky's drive. He'll be on the 17-yard line as he go double box with Stevie J in the red zone again, down 10-7. Low ball pass, picks up a first down. And here's, here's where it gets interesting. He had a perfect kick. You weren't going to be able to block it. Why even come and try to get that? All you're doing is put yourself in a bad position. What a blunder. That late dive, that mental mistake, costing spot me. Stevie tries to bounce outside and find any kind of room for Herschel Walker. There is none. Drops back at the 11. On your right side, Blocky trying to take advantage of that penalty. Getting it over to Cooks, setting up a third and manageable. Stevie dropping back to pass on the left side of your screen. He takes off immediately with Mariota, get himself down to the one. Third and goal from the one, one of the hardest plays in that and set up right there for Stevie J as Blocky makes adjustments and gets himself into the bunch left. It'll be interesting to see Stevie J, somebody who has such a prolific run game. Is he going to go to the QB sneak at all while he's here on first and goal from the one? Or hard, sorry, third and goal. Hard to control your, your run stick with that QB sneak. Want, <laughs> want more of a roll of the dice there than anything. None. That's right. Well, we got two guys way down the field, both inside the five-yard line. Stevie J, third and goal, going to hand it off to Herschel Walker. Left, bounces it outside. He is in for the score. Touchdown, Stevie J. Herschel Walker is a problem. Yes, he is. And Prodigy's going to have to figure out a way to stop or else it's going to be a long game. 14-10 for Stevie on the left. Blocky gets himself down to the one-yard line here. I see him in that goal line formation. Tied up, looking for six. That's going to give him a little bit of an edge to move down the second half. Already under two minutes left here in the third quarter as we just focus all of our attention here. Spot me's got to stand tall right here. Third and goal. Blocky gave him a free play on that last one with the QB sneak. He let him off easy. Oh, he's going to run it again. Spot me able to down him on the one yard line, fourth and goal. If he takes three here, I'm a little disappointed in his offensive coordinator. I, I, I need two better plays than two QB sneaks right there, especially after everything you've seen, after all the times people haven't gotten in. You got your back. Go ahead, punch it in, give it to your horse. Well, he is, in fact, going to go for it. Fourth and goal from the one yard line, a minute 10 and counting here in the third quarter trying to draw somebody off sides right there and it it backfired right there a little bit of a false start backing him up to the six now the decision becomes a little bit easier he is going to go ahead and kick this thing right on through 16 13 for blocky to go back to what you were saying rico it is weird to see such a cerebral player such a guy who really plays madden at such a high level not have a go-to play that close to the end zone and it doesn't even have to be a go-to play not to be able to figure out that hey the QB sneak is not the play I should go to. Every single time Paul Warfield's returning a kick for spot me, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm ready to, ready to fire up and let out a touchdown call here. But he is stopped at the 41-yard line, minute and one second left here as Mariota goes play action. Heat off the left, he goes down, Sam Shields on the sack. But I guess if you're going to play defense like that, you can take your threes and love it. <laughs> you got to feel comfortable playing defense when you're kicking as much as Blocky has. But so far, it's worked out for him. Up three on the Madden Classic champ and credit analyst from Ballard, West Virginia. I've also had a chance to hang out with Spot Me in West Virginia. Met his wife, Holly, his son, Reed. Spot Me Reed, as I like to call him. It's hard to express how big of a deal he is in West Virginia where he lives. You walk around town, people are shouting his name. He's a legit celebrity. <laughs> are they shouting Taylor or they shouting Spot Me? Oh, Spot Me, of course. Oh, of course. they spotted well, Spot Me. They spotted Spot Me. Third and 14, Spot Me opts to not push it downfield. Sets up a fourth and seven here from his own 44. Doesn't have to run another play here in the third quarter. 
Might try and sneak one in here as he is down three, but. Especially because you're going for it on fourth. At least if you don't get it, there might be one other play behind it. Every second's going to count if you're chasing points like that. We're going to double box here at the end of this third quarter as Spotmy makes his adjustment, sends a man in motion right. Prodigy is going to roll right and make a completion to the four yard line. And he's going to try and go no huddle here and quicken the pace to get one more play in before the end of this third quarter. Prodigy under center. Gets the snap off to Derrick Henry. Tries to shrug a defender. Cannot. It's going to be 14-10 in that game. We're going to have one more play here from Spot Me on fourth and two. He was able to draw a penalty, it looks like. He's going to hand it off to McKinnon, who is just going to get over that first down marker. Yeah, that, and that was, <laughs> that was a huge penalty right there, which led to that first down. You've seen Spot Me. Oh, we are, we are through, through three. We'll get to that in a second, Rico. It's 14-10. Stevie J over Prodigy. 16-13. Blocky over Spot Me, please. Start of the fourth quarter here. Madden Ultimate League action, Los Angeles, California. Prodigy down 10 to 14 as Stevie J looks to continue to build on what has been a solid start to his Ultimate League season. And, and it's been really, really nice to watch the progression that Stevie J has had over the last few years. He, it's funny, he actually reminds me of the old school UCF champ, ah. who was there back in the old school days. Really solid, was on the outside looking in last year. And as you can see, he gave up that touchdown there, but he's made the most of his opportunity. He's really taken his time to evolve as a mad player and, and say, I want to take that next step. I want to be elite. So let me do the things. Let me get with the appropriate people. Let me put in the time, the hard work, and the dedication to take this step. And it shows everybody out there yeah. that in a year, you can do it. Yeah. He wasn't able to do it there and hold the door. Down 17-14 now at the start of the fourth quarter as he'll look to just get down on this kickoff. And Rico, you're so right. Just missing the cut last year. Finishing 33rd in the Madden Championship as we double box and spot me. Looks to force one in up the right sideline. I know a ton of credit goes to Stevie J's family and his girlfriend Lexi who have been so supportive of him as he has done everything he can to make himself the most elite Madden player possible as we jump into this other game here. Spotney has got himself into the red zone. Down three in the fourth quarter. Second and 10 from the 15. Sends a man in motion, hands it off to McKinnon out of the bunch. Yeah, and it was funny because I actually had a chance to see him last year at the Jacksonville Club Championship. And hearing him talk, hearing him talk about the game and what he was trying to do. And then if you speak to him this year, he sounds like a completely different person. Yeah. He was happy to be there last year. Those days have come and gone. Now he expects to be yeah. there and he expects to win. And it was, I, I felt like a proud dad watching him say, <laughs> I have the best run game in the community. Nobody is better than me at that. And he realized it and he's trying to prove it every time he gets on those sticks. Well, spot me, kicks through a field goal right there, tying things up, 16 apiece. Man, this has been a dogfight, Rico. This game has been back and forth, literally from the opening kick, which Spot Me took back for a touchdown. Now giving the ball back to Blocky here in the fourth quarter. Now, if you're Blocky, you have a lot of things going through your mind right now. You're thinking, I need seven. I need to put that full pressure on Spot Me. Don't want to leave anything up to chance. Also, you want to take your time. Don't rush things. If, if you happen to milk some clock while you're at it, that's fine. You don't want to give a player as good as Spot Me and as good of an offensive player as Spot Me is the opportunity to have that last drive going for the win. Clock management as important as ever here in the Madden Ultimate League as Blocky was stuffed on that first down run attempt. Second and 13 from his own 30. Drops back to pass, has X coming over the right side. He gets it to him. Big hit on Cooks, but makes it a third and short for himself. Third and one, Enrico, so far so good. Not rushing, not forcing the ball downfield, taking what Spotney's given him. Yeah, yeah, he, he's, it's like he, 
That's not white noise in his ear. He's funneled it right to us. The offensive coordinator Rico Williams here as he checks to the flat Delaney Walker. Got, got the reception, but did not get the first down. It's fourth and one for Blocky. There's no decision here. He's going for it. Absolutely. I think that, go that, that, that's got to be a no-brainer right here. you got to have the confidence in yourself. Fourth quarter, big drive. He's going for it on fourth and one. Gets the ball out quickly to Westbrook. Huge conversion there on fourth. That was a huge conversion. That was also a huge risk right there. I thought he was going to go in something simple. He's been making his living in the flats all day, but he's, he used that to set up that other route. Layers, got to love it. Nice job being unpredictable there from Blocky. He's going to go to the air again on first down. He's going to go to the left side, and Grant's got some room. Nice job by Renfro to catch up to him there, but you, you brought this up before the drive, Rico. You don't want to score too fast. And it was interesting. Once he got that first down, I think he was so excited, he came out and called his play. He called that play with 17 seconds left on the play clock. He could be using, if he would have used a little bit more time, that could have already been the two-minute warning. Saw a mismatch, wanted to take advantage of it right away. Here comes the pressure from Spotney. Big sack on first down. Man, he really does have that bend, don't break. I'll let you get your yards through the air when, when you need to, but get inside that 25, 30 yard line. It's a different ball game, so we're spot me on defense. Yeah, he, he's definitely he's definitely clamped down. Now here's where it's gonna get really, really interesting. This is gonna go to the two minute warning. If Blocky can get himself a first down over the next two plays, he could have a chance to wrap this up with a field goal and not even give spot me the ball back. He just needs to really be precise do not throw an incomplete pass and do not take any more sacks. You don't have to prove how good your kicker is or how good he isn't. Classic Madden guy move. Getting the first down, clocking it out. Got to get there first. Second and 16. Blocky dropping back to pass in the pocket. Goes right to Grant. Looks like he did manage, in fact, to stay inbounds right there. Keeps the clock moving. Brings up a third and eight here. These next, this play right here, Rico, is going to be massive because it's going to determine whether or not Spotty needs to score a touchdown on that last drive or whether he can settle for three. Spotty right now, he was just trying to figure out, should I call a timeout, should I not have? But he needs to see what happens here. Yeah. You don't want to call that timeout, he gets the first down, and now you're out of luck. Blocky does the one thing you said he could, and he takes a big sack on third and eight, making it fourth and 17 from the 30-yard line. That is a, it's the biggest defensive play Spotty's had so far and in this game. And he called a timeout right after it now so that Blocky has no choice but to take this three and enjoy it. <laughs> and he does take that three. Goes up 19-16. I'll tell you what, Blocky's played great defense all game, all season. I never want to give Taylor Robinson the ball back, you know, with uh, the, the bread drive about to happen. That's what I was going to say. If you told Spotty the minute 23, two timeouts, you're down three with the ball, fourth quarter. He said, he'll tell you, I'll take that every day and twice on Sunday. This is it. This is this winning is time right here. This your, your is where- Your big time players make big time plays in big time situations. These guys, the cream of the crop here in Madden, taking, taking part in this Madden Ultimate League. These guys are on this stage for this exact situation right here. 70 yards to drive. Just over a minute left. Starts it off with a run for four yards to the right hash. First thing you got to do every time if you're blocking is make sure no one takes the lid off of your defense. Do not get beat deep. You don't want the one hitter quitter. Play action. He does just that. Force the fumble. Ball is out. Blocky is going to recover the fumble, get the ball back, and pretty much ice this game here, Rico. Yeah, 55 seconds, only two timeouts. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. <laughs> That's a ball game. That is a click on, hit stick, massive defensive play right there from Blocky. Easy now. Got to gotta make Spot Me use those timeouts, but that QB sneak almost got a little bit crazy. First thing he does, immediately sets his ball carrier to conservative. You don't want any kind of crazy stuff happening here in the last 52 seconds. <laughs> you don't want the fluke now. No. I, I still do not like that play call whatsoever. I know you're worried about fumbles. I'd feel more comfortable if you went shotgun with your quarterback, slid, or even take, why not take the knee? You know, we're sitting up here, Rico. I don't think I can answer that for him, but he's going to go QB sneak again. If he looks to secure this victory, he will move to 4-0 and 
the only undefeated player left in the Madden Ultimate League. While he is 4-0, while he is in first place, this is the difference between being used to being on the big guy. You don't let your quarterback take those hits. You cannot afford that. You need the ball. Just the best play in football. Don't overthink it. <laughs> My mother always told me, kiss, keep it simple, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> See, I've heard the keep it simple stupid. That's the one that I heard <laughs> as, as a kid. So I, 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 I get it. I, I get where it's coming kid. from. Yeah, you were a good great. kid. I get it. I was a little troublemaker. I, I understand. <laughs> I, I totally get it. Yeah, Blocky. It's just it, we, we've, we've given him a lot of praise throughout this whole season, but he's warranted. I mean, every single game he's coming out, he's winning close games, he's winning games where he's kind of blowing people out a little bit. He's shown that he can win in every kind of way. Look at the way Blocky right now. You would not know that he was up. <laughs> Unfazed. I mean, just ice cold. He is going to opt to punt here on fourth and nine. Try and pin spot me down. He does on the, his own five-yard line. So now with no timeouts, 14 seconds left on the clock. Spot me, please, is going to have a chance to pull off something pretty miraculous here, Rico. Yeah, and you, you don't want the safety. You just don't want to throw a pick six. Because point differential, especially when you're one and three, makes a big difference. That is true. He is going to go deep to the left. Tries the possession catch there on the left sideline. Cannot bring it down. Second and ten from his own five. Now with nine seconds left. Did you see Spotty's passing numbers? He was six of 11 for 78 yards in a touchdown. That's not the spot we we know. That's crazy. That speaks volumes to how good block he's playing on the defensive side of the ball. And the spot me gets this ball out on the screen, and the clock is going to run down and out on his hopes in this game. Blocky securing a 19 to 16 victory. Taylor Robinson, spot me, please put up a good fight, but not enough in the end. Prodigy wins the battle of the nobles. 17-14 over Stevie J. Two three-point games. A lot of good defense. Fun I can't stuff. wait to see those standings right now. Doesn't that bring Spotty down like one and three or one and four also? Yeah, one and three, I believe. One and three, yeah. Just not what you would have envisioned. And now Stevie off. comes back. He, he was just riding high <laughs> in first place. Man, that's why we play the game. All right, Adrian Lawrence standing by with Blocky. Adrian? Yes, I'm here with the man who is undefeated, 4-0. Blocky, you got the win over Spot Me Please, one of the belt holders. How do you feel? Feels good. Some things went my way, luckily, but that's the way Madden goes. I'm glad to be 4-0 and hopefully keep on keep it going tomorrow. And these are some of the best Madden players in the world, if not the best, and you are the one who is undefeated. Why do you think that is? Oh, I feel like I'm playing pretty good defense, and I'm playing good on offense. So as long as I'm playing good on both sides, you know, I mean, I'm going to be tough to beat. And is there anyone this season that you have yet to play that you are looking forward to who you think maybe could rattle your cage a bit? I know I got young kid to play eventually. I know that's going to be a good game. I haven't played him. So I'm looking forward to that game. All right. Well, best of luck with it. Back to you guys.